Clickety clack, it's photography time. What's up guys? It's me, at Fotetta. And today we're gonna be chittering and chattering about how we can get some beautiful product photography with any household object. May it be a cycling glove or a lovely, stunning hat. The first thing that any wise person would do is find a subject. And I'm a wise person. This shall be my subject. My beautiful, beautiful subject. Now then, it is time to doodle up our amazing idea. First of all, we must have our subject somewhere. I am believing more or less in the middle. And we have it in a lovely spoon of coffee. Next up, we have to have, so let's just pretend that this is an upward view, but we will most likely be coming in from the side. We could have a box here of the product, so we know what the product is. Maybe even a tray of coffee beans themselves sliding towards the camera, drawing you like leading lines. Next up, we will have to add in some of our own creative bits and bobs. This can be drawing now or in the future. As I walk down the stairs, I will now tell you about the sponsor of this video, my grandma. She says, please like us and subscribe or you will not get your daily cookies. Now that we have done the extremely boring parts, I believe it is time to create. First, collect all the bits and bobs in your house that follow your theme. Is My theme is wooden and rustic. Then, build up your background so that you can take your viewer into another dimension. The floor is very important. I use newspaper to protect the wood from the coffee powder. Um, then, when setting up the shot, you can move things around once you have begun. Make sure you have some sick mid-ground and background. Now then, when you're taking some sh your shots, I've got some tips for you. So the first thing is, when you're taking your shots, try different foregrounds. There are different things that you can put in front to make the framing more interesting. Number two, you've got to try different angles. My favourite angle, which I have done so far, is an angle, let's pretend this part of my hand is the camera, an angle coming down from here. And then you want to try that everywhere. Maybe some upward shots and different things. The next tip is lighting and setup. Always move them, both lighting and the objects in your image around so that you don't get the same thing every single time. And don't destroy your set before you've had a look at it on your computer because there are always more things that you're going to want in your image and you want to make sure that you've got everything to pinpoint accuracy. Now then, let's check the kind of photos that I got. It's photo, photo, photo time! Okay, now let's have a look at some of these shots. So the first shot which I'll be displaying on scene has all of the components in it. I've gone for a basic look down with a small tripod Next shot that we've got here, I've tried a different angle and I've moved around the components. You always want to change what's in the shot, as I said earlier. Next up, this one, totally different angle to the other ones. And it's got a nice glow from the light coming down in the bottom. So you don't always have to have the light directly beaming on your subject. Next one here is an upward shot. This one doesn't have much in it, but a few of the others do. Now, we have most of the components in it, in the shot, but what I've done is just a different angle. Camera down on the bottom, you know, there, and I had the lighting coming in from the side. This one here, I love this shot, because you've got that lovely foreground element, which just gives it a bit of magic. This shot here, just the cup and the coffee spoon and I've got the light coming in on the cup, so we've got a different focus point. Those were the shots, there are obviously a few more, and if you want to check those ones out, go over, check my Instagram out. Clickety clack, that's photography, with me, at Fotetta. Hope I can join you guys in the future.